Welcome to another segment of Under the Microscope. I'm Jeff Golden. Thanks so much for being with us today. I'm joined today by Dr. Shulpa Bush. Uh, Dr. Bush is the 10th Scientist Laureate at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. And as many of you know, she's Professor of Pharmacology and Experimental Neuroscience in the College of Medicine and the Director of our newly founded Nebraska Center for Substance Research Abuse. Thank you so much for being with us today, and uh, congratulations on this incredible honor. Thank you very much, and I'm glad to be here. So could you tell our audience a little bit about what this award means to you and to your research lab? So first of all, I will admit I'm very exhilarated. So it's indeed a really huge honor and a recognition for our work and specifically for my team. And I'm really grateful for that. And with it comes the responsibility, you know, and a commitment that we have to pursue our work with due diligence, more enthusiasm, to really make a difference. And I'm all geared up, it's like an oxygen boost, actually, so I feel very happy about it. I love that concept, an oxygen boost. And I know you're, you're focused on the challenges associated with addiction, and maybe you could tell our audience a little bit about how you got focused on addiction and why it's so important for our society in general. So um, drug addiction, you know, it's affecting every, see in the news, it is there every other day. It affects all the segments of society, doesn't discriminate age, gender, race, economic, and it has tremendous health impact. It has, leads to violence, homelessness, crime, not only the person, it really affects the society and the community. So I am very much affected personally because it has a lot to do with mental health mm -hmm. and as people age we have family members that deal with this devastating disease of you know depression it comes with age so clearly it's a problem very close to my heart to everybody it is like a brain that has gone amok without a car without brakes that's what an addicted brain is and I got interested in it because I was working on HIV neuropathogenesis mm -hmm. and drug addiction and HIV go hand in hand. So to understand how these two interact to cause consequences of mental health, neurons, genetic factors, not everybody gets addicted. Why is it only some people get addicted? And how does that lead to behavioral changes? That's the focus of our lab. And hopefully by understanding that, we may come to a treatment and hopefully prevent this disease. But well, wouldn't that really be exciting? Uh, what does it mean to you personally and to your family to be recognized as the 10th Scientist Laureate uh, for the university? That's an incredible honor. It is, you know, we scientists often uh, get into the mode of thinking that my work is just a drop in the ocean. This award really brings back to the point that every little drop is important for that ocean. It reaffirms and brings you, you know, back to your you know, I really feel a lot of people, it takes a village who have helped me to get here, so I'm very thankful. It gives me an impetus to go and do better and bigger things for the University of Nebraska. Well, it definitely takes a village, but it also takes a leader. Congratulations on this wonderful award. Thank you for being with us today. Thank and thank you, so you for being with us today on this segment of Under the Microscope. <laughs>